Tank is a product line to protect you in the great outdoors. Hey, my name is Nicole Powell, and I am seeking $250,000 for 5% of my company. Sharks, I grew up in Minnesota, where we like to say that the mosquito is our state bird. So <laughs> you could say I know a thing or two about bug spray. Every time we would go outside, my parents would cover me and my brother with icky, sticky bug spray and coat us in greasy chemical sunscreens. Ew. Years later, I realized I was still using those same gross, artificial, and environmentally unfriendly products. And that is why I created Kinfield, the modern outdoor brand that is leading the revolution with clean bug sprays that work and sun care the whole family will love. Our first product was Golden Hour. It's a deep free bug repellent made with citronella, lemongrass, and vanilla to keep those pesky mosquitoes away and smell amazing. Since then, we've launched a biodegradable repellent wipe, recovery products, and a line of innovative mineral sunscreens so Sharks, who's ready to build a bug-free and sun-protected future with me? In front of you are some of our best-selling products, including our full bug and sun line. This is an entire line, you said, of sunscreen mixed with bug repellent? No, they're separate products. So okay. the orange products that are in front of you are part of our bug line. Your bug repellent smells so good. I'm surprised you don't attract Yeah, it doesn't mosquitoes. smell like bug repellent. And how does it compare against DEET like in terms of preventing the mosquitoes from biting us? So we had the protectiveness of our repellent verified by an independent lab. The test results showed us that our bug repellent has an average of three hours of protection time. How did you come up with this idea? I went to Indonesia. It's an absolutely beautiful country, but the combination of the heat plus the rice paddies means that it is an absolute mosquito paradise. And it was while I was there that I actually came across the strain of citronella that we now use for our bug repellent. Okay, so 250,000 for 5% mm -hmm. imputes. imputes a five <laughs> million dollar valuation. <laughs> so you better have some sales. So I launched a brand in the summer of 2019. We did 45,000 in sales. Okay. 2020, we did 187,000 in sales. All was all of that consumer? through retail? Almost or? all of that was online. 2021, we did 565,000 yeah. in sales. There we go. All right. Do you make any money in any of these years? Not quite yet. 22? So 2022, thus far this year, we've done 1.5 million in sales. Good, Good for you. And we are on track to do 2.1 million this year. Do you think year. you'll wow. make money on the 1.5 million? We will not make money yet. We're positioned to be profitable in about a year and a half. How, how much are you spending on marketing? So our customer acquisition cost right now is about $26. Oof. Okay. What I'm trying to figure out on every sale, are you losing or making money? You told me $26 for customer mm -hmm. acquisition costs. I don't know your average margin across the product line. What is it? The products in front of you now are between 79 and 85% margins. Golden Hour costs us about $4.53 to produce, and we retail that for $22. Cloud Cover, our body sunscreen, this one we pay $5.04, and we retail it for $34. What's the average sale, then? Our average order value on our web website is $45. So Nicole, 45. where are you selling your product? So about 80% of our customers buy directly with us online, but I still believe that being in both .com and in retail is important to building a healthy business. Why, why do you feel that But it seems like you're way? growing so quickly. I mean, Nicole, do you need to do that? I mean, you, you're controlling your do. own destiny right now. We absolutely do, and here's why. You need to have the convenience. There are things that you need because you're going outside, you have a park picnic this weekend. And so retail has to be a part of our journey. You're gonna be losing money in retail, won't you? Not necessarily, because- Not necessarily is a whole lot different than no. You still have the distribution costs, you have the marketing support costs, you have to advertise more, not less. It's the fact that you're gonna have to raise a lot more money for your R&D, for inventory, for scaling, for advertising. Based off the deal you're offering, we get diluted to nothing, right? Not necessarily, because alongside raising investor capital, we're also doing lines of credit. How much debt do you have right now? Less and than half a million. It, it a million. varies by okay, month, depending real. on what we're paying. Look, you're very, very, very impressive. But when it's all said and done, where we'd start versus where we'd end up, I just don't see it. So for those reasons, I'm out. Nicole, I'll make you an offer. Thank you. I'll give you $250,000 for 10%. And I hate to say it, but I want a $2 royalty per product. So oh. Mm. Oh. Savage. Until it's paid back only. Thank you for your offer. 
Well, now that we're throwing royalties around. Oh, Mr. Royalty. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, I'll do the 250,000 for 5%, but it can never be diluted. In other words, Mr. Wonderful always gets his 5%. And I will also put a royalty on it, but not as greedy as Barbara. I'll do $1.50 per unit until I get back $750,000. I'm tempted by your sales and your That's like a double ratchet, Kevin. I mean, if there's anybody up here that knows how to sell a mosquito product, Thank it's you, Lori, me. it's me. Um, well, you're the biggest blood-sucking thing up here, but... Yeah, it's more in common with the mosquitoes, That's why right? I know this product line. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of blood suckers. Okay, I did bug bite thing. Uh, within a couple of years, we did 25 million in sales and we're in 30,000 stores, and we've had offers to sell already. So, here's my offer. I'm gonna give you the 250,000 I'm only going to take 5%, but I am going to want a royalty. I'm going to want $4 per the item sold until yeah! I get... Wow. Wait, wait, listen. Whoa. Until I get my money back. Just till they get the money back. That's almost as blood-sucking as Kevin's get, offer. Let me not rephrase how a royalty... It's not. When someone asks for a royalty, only until I'm paid back. That is the equivalent saying, I don't really want to give you any money. No, it's not. Of course it is. It's no, just, I'm gonna, here's Mark, my money, you Mark, give it right you're not back. giving an offer, so you should just, you know, I'm just telling you how the royalties work. All right, Lori, why don't you finish so the offer? So let me yeah. explain to you why I would do that. I don't want to work for free for the next three years. For maybe down the road, when we sell it, I'm more than worth it. Well, congratulations, Nicole. You have three Thank offers. You. They're all Nicole. commensurate with the Nicole, written. I'm going to add one more offer into the, oh, into wow. the mix just oh, because... Oh, hey, Tony! While there are obviously going to be challenges heading into retail, especially as we think about how to grow this business, I actually think that this business is going to be worth quite a bit. So I actually want to be with you more for the equity and not really try to take money away from you. My offer is 250000 10%. No royalty? Straight equity, clean deal, no ratchets, no royalty. Let's reinvest back in the business and let's go for it. Thank you for your offer. Four offers, congratulations. Oh well, gosh. I would match his offer if you prefer it. So Barbara's matching so him with 250,000 at 10%. percent flat equity deal. So Tony did you a big favor. Wow, I, I'm a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> well, can you make a decision? So the hard thing about royalties right now is that we already take a reduced margin when we go into retail. Nicole, this is exactly why I gave you a straight equity deal. No you loans, no interest, no royalty, yeah. especially as we head into a lower margin channel that allows us to get mass distribution. Tony and Barbara, would you consider joining forces? Why not? Let's do it. You're willing to give up 10%? For 10%, you could each do 125000 and take 5%. 5%. You know what, Nicole? I'm sorry to say it. I'm out. I've been there as well. I know exactly how to help you scale, especially in the operating side. Mm -hmm. We'd be willing to do the deal. 250000 both of us, 10%. But you just offered. Do we have a deal? You have a deal? Yes. Deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Congrats. I'm also a fellow Midwesterner <gasps> Midwestern. from Illinois. Oh, yeah. Illinois, Minnesota. We're kin. Thank you so much. Yes. You have my outfit. I don't have the same one. Congratulations. You did a great job. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you all, truly, sincerely. I got an offer from four sharks. I chose Barbara and I chose Tony because their offer of equity really told me that they were in it for the long haul and that they were just as excited about where Kinfield is going as I am. You know what, Tony? I've never gotten into bed with a man I don't know before. This is exciting. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have, Barbara. That's just not true. I'm insulted. 